If you're clever, you can add trends into your wardrobe without spending a penny. And that's what this video is all about. It's about how to delve into the items you already have in your closet and repurpose them to suit the trends of the season. Hi, my name is Trish and you're very welcome to the channel. And let's start with the trend that's probably bringing me the most joy at the moment, which is this color palette. Now, these two trends are very much in vogue and they actually belong at opposite ends of the color spectrum in a way where one is cool and the other is very passionate. And speaking, of course, about the cool sky blue and the passionate red. Now, I'm not going to spend a penny bringing these trendy colors into my wardrobe. And let me share with you how I'm doing that. So first of all, for red, I'm going to just continue using my trusty Dior lipstick and I may get my nail color updated um, when I go next week. And I will continue to enjoy my Mansur Gabrielle Tote, which has a lovely pop of red on the inside. So that is how I'm going to incorporate this trendy color into my closet this season by enjoying things I already own. When it comes to the beautiful sky blue color, I happen to already have this beautiful shirt from Cezanne in my collection already. So I'm just going to make a conscious choice to bring that out a little bit more this season. I do think this blue is particularly suited to spring anyway. So I've already been reaching for it a little bit more and it's just a bonus that it happens to be on trend this season as well. So do look inside your own closet. Is there anything you already own that's in one of these two colors? And if there is, just make a choice to bring it out and start enjoying it a little bit more for the spring and summer season. Now, when it comes to fashion, I believe that the cycles are slowing down a little bit. And what I mean by that is not so much that new pieces aren't coming onto the market all the time, because of course they are. But gone are the days where fashion has been dictated to us by the design houses exclusively. I believe fashion has become a much more democratic experience with the advent of social media and influencers and content creators. You see a lot more representative fashion now and also the trends are driven not just by the runways but from people just like you and me. You know, people with our body types, for example, people who have Instagram accounts, TikTok, YouTube, YouTube accounts, and people who just share their lives online. And that has created a more level playing field for fashion, in my opinion, which I really think is a good thing. And some of the trends reflect that. So what we're seeing is trends that were in vogue last year coming back around again this year. And some of the trends I'm about to speak about first began having their moment two to three, even four years ago. And they come back around again every season. They're what I call timeless trends. And I've done a video on just this topic before. So check that out if you're interested. And these timeless trends are the best ones to focus on. So when I look at the previous couple of years, I see tailoring and soft suiting come back over and over again for all of the seasons. And this spring summer season is no different. So we're continuing to see soft suiting, tailoring in the form of waistcoats, blazers. They're in slightly different cuts, but honestly, it doesn't matter. I have this beautiful blazer from The Curated, for example, and I can easily bring that out again this season, pair it with a matching black bottom. It could be jeans, it could be tailored pants, it could even be this satin midi skirt, and it would look amazing. So I'm really excited to participate in the kind of tailoring soft suiting trend again this season. And I think it's very easy for a lot of us to achieve this look with things that are already in our closets. Another trend that's stuck around from last year is the metallics trend. Now, last year we kind of saw gold and silver in equal measure, but silver has definitely run into the lead, I think, this year, where we are seeing silver absolutely everywhere. And I am not mad about it at all because I love silver. Of course, I own several pieces of silver jewelry. I think many of us do. So again, it's just worth looking at our existing collections and seeing if there's anything we can bring out again that maybe we haven't thought about for a while. Maybe we haven't worn for a while. It's worth bringing it out again. 
So in my case, I have this beautiful Tiffany bracelet that I really enjoy wearing and I pair it with my gold pieces as well. I really don't mind mixing metals. I think it looks really beautiful. I also have this gorgeous silver bag from Aliada that I got last year. I've been wearing it regularly. And for me, it's just a bonus that silver happens to be on trend. I think silver as a color is actually very versatile. And as an accessory, it pairs really successfully with so many different colors. So that is why I find this bag so useful and why I've been wearing it so much and will continue to wear it into the new season as well. Now, of course, there's nothing wrong with pairing two trends together and Mary Janes are still huge this year. Again, this is something that's continued on from last year and I'm really happy it's carried on into the new year as well. So I've combined the metallic and Mary Jane trend in this shoe choice. So I got these at the start of the year. Absolutely love wearing them. They're very feminine and very classic, but that silver color makes them very fresh and contemporary as well. And um, I find that they are a very versatile shoe. They go with all of my jeans and they look really good with leather pants as well as skirts and dresses. So I've really been enjoying wearing these. And for those of you who invested in Mary Jane's last year, then bring them out again for the new season. They are not going anywhere. Another trend that I bet most of us have in our closets already is a white dress. I've certainly used them myself over the years for summers and holidays. So I have cycled through a few in the last couple of years. And this one is the most recent one I've added to my collection. And I absolutely love it because it's very feminine. It's very detailed and it is in a mini length, which for me is very flattering. Now this one is from a brand called Petite Studio NYC and they actually design all of their clothes specifically with petites in mind, which I think is something that is badly, badly needed in the fashion world. So I was very happy to discover this brand and I'm really looking forward to wearing this dress throughout the spring and the summer once it gets a bit warmer here in Ireland. Now because white dresses are a trend this season, I would tend to wear them with something a little bit more on the classic side. So for example, I've chosen to pair this dress with this gorgeous pearl necklace. I think there is nothing more classic and beautiful than a pearl and pairing any kind of pearl jewelry with any pieces that are more on the trendy side is a really balanced and harmonious way to wear these pieces this season. Now, as I said, I think there has been a democratization of fashion. So a lot of these trends that we're seeing this season are very wearable and very accessible. But I also think that there are some trends that we should absolutely avoid like the plague, especially if like me, you are petite or you have short legs. And there are some trends that I, I really do think we should stay away from. And I've made a video about just that topic. So if you haven't already do subscribe to the channel to check out that video which is coming next week if you're enjoying the video so far as well give it a thumbs up it really helps the channel out and if you want to leave me a super thanks it's an amazing way to support the channel and i would be super grateful now one of the best ways to incorporate trends every season is to repurpose things we already own and there are several trends this year that's really suited to that kind of creativity so for example, bows are everywhere. We are seeing them on the backs of dresses, in hair, on bags. We're seeing them absolutely everywhere. And a bow is something that is incredibly easy to create with something you already own. So for example, I would take one of my silk scarves and I would just tie it into a bow. And then I would probably clip that into my hair if I was wearing it in a bun or ponytail. And another way I'd love to wear it is by clipping it onto my bag handle. I think it's such an easy and accessible way to make any look more contemporary and fresh. And another trend I'm really loving, which can easily be achieved by using things you already own is the wrap shirt trend. So you may have seen this famous photo of Audrey Hepburn from obviously decades ago now, but that wrap method of tying a shirt is back in style. And it's so easy to do with a shirt you already own. So just by changing up how we wear things can sometimes really freshen our look and bring it from kind of ordinary and classic, I suppose, to a much more contemporary vibe. Another trend that's holding out from previous years are vests and waistcoats. And I'm kind of putting them into the same bracket, even though a vest is kind of a preppier 
version of this look and a waistcoat is a more tailored and sharp version of this look. But both of them can be used to great effect this season and the chances are you probably already have something similar in your wardrobe from previous seasons because this is a trend that has been going absolutely nowhere and I love it. So I will be adding a denim waistcoat to my closet this year because I absolutely love the harmony of such a casual fabric like denim being cut into such a polished design like a waistcoat. I absolutely love the fact that those have been combined together. I think it's very playful and very fun. Vests and waistcoats can be used to create so many different looks and because they've been around for so many years, the chances are you will have something appropriate already in your closet. So have a rummage around, you never know what you might find. Are there any trends that you are particularly excited to see this season? Do let me know in the comments. I love to hear your opinions and thoughts. Remember to subscribe to next week's video, which is all about the trends you should avoid if, like me, you are petite and curvy. And until then, I'll just say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.